Hey YouTube. Okay, this is a tutorial for how to make sliding, uh, not sliding, um, attachment rails for a handgun. Uh, this video is going to be in a lot of parts, not like separate parts on YouTube, but I'm going to keep changing, pausing and playing, pretty much because my uh, camera can only do almost three minutes and then it runs out of memory. So this is this video is going to be for more than three minutes, <coughs> for sure. Okay, so basically you've got these two little um, test subjects here. Um, one with a flat bottom and one with a round one. Uh, it's going to involve a lot of paper mache, which I'm not going to do because well you know what paper mache is and is, and if you don't know what it is, so then you're going to need to look it up. Or yeah. I just use regular. PVA glue, or whatever, for paper mache. <coughs> so, oh, I think we'll start with the flat one. What you're going to need to do, I obviously this would be made out of hardened paper, and I would have paper mache a lot of it to make it more sturdy. Um, so, you got a, you're going to get a bit of cardboard, or really thick paper, I like hardened paper, I don't know whatever you want to do, but you, you want to get it like, and this is a really simple tutorial as well, it's not it's not like you know, full hardcore tutorial. It's just a quick. So, like that. So that it's maybe thinner than that. So it's actually thinner than the actual thing. Yeah, you can see that. I hope. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of super glue. And there you go. And already that is tough on there. This good super glue, isn't it? <coughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty much that. And then um, just get another bit that's about as wide as the gun, and then put it on top. That's basically it. For and then of course a lot of paper mache, but that's the easy part. So, yep, it's on. That's the easy part. And, uh, okay, so for this one, um, it's going to be a bit different, but not really. Uh, it all depends on, um, your actual light or attachment you're going to put on, which you're going to do after. So I guess it doesn't really matter. You're just going to have to do more work on the actual attachment. But with my 1911, it's not just, uh, just a sec, it's not plain like that, you know, it's not just a huge bit on, um, go to Google Images and look up, uh, 1911 with rails or something, <clears throat> and you'll see that they've got little bits, there's like, you know, section, gap, section, so, you want to pretty much just... The way I found for my one, I think, if I can remember right, is that you've got one like that, then one like that, then that. So it's something like that. That's uh, not perfectly straight, but that's the general idea. And oh, that one's really not straight. Okay. Uh, wow, even the shadow for that looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so now um, you have to make your attachment. Which I'm just going to show you a light <coughs> without a real light, of course, because I only had one little one, which I still have the actual attachment. And I guess, if you want to see that, oh, I'll just drop something, just a sec. This is my one for my 1911, which I can't use on my 1911 because I sanded it off, so I'm going to make a Glock. So what I did basically is, uh, I wrapped it in hardened paper, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm going to show you, so... This I've got for an example for a light, just a rolled up little tube, 
So you're gonna wanna that. that much. So that's too much probably. And you should wrap it. Find the length you need. Cut it. Uh, you can tape this if you want, but I wouldn't use the tape I'm using, which is this clear tape, because you're not end up not being able to paint it. Right, so I'm just taping this now. Oh crap! I think I'm out of tape. Oh well. So if you use this tape, you're not going to be able to paint it. I suggest masking tape, but really I suggest uh, paper mache. So now you've got this little uh, thing for your light to fit in. I would paper mache it to, to make it much more solid. So leave that for later. Um, or of course you could just glue the light to this, what I'm about to make. Uh, you need a bit of hardened paper. Wider than your rails and everything. Only just wider. Well, sorry guys. Just bumped. Uh, yeah, you want a bit of hardened paper or cardboard or whatever. Only just wider. Uh, that might do. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Uh, and just a bit of hardened paper, just a little tiny strip, maybe that long. Uh, you want it probably the same length as that, even though I didn't, and that light's bad, just a sec. Even though I didn't, still. Okay, so... Because this is only just a tad, this piece, big piece here, is only just a tiny bit wider than um, the actual rails. I'm going to have to do one of them on that sticking up, like little strips, and one of them actually on it sticking up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I asked a camera a question. One on the side and one actually on top. Uh, yeah, you're probably going to want to measure some things, but this is just a little quick demonstration, <coughs> so I'm not measuring. Uh, so, obviously, the one that goes on top is going to be uh, shorter, so how's that going to work? probably needs to be shorter. Ah, who cares? Just glue it on there. Right. Um, want to make sure this. Sorry, guys. Um, you want to make sure this goes on the outside, basically. See what I mean? Even though it doesn't have any hooks and it can come straight off you want to see that it fits reasonably nicely on that and on the other one too yeah that one's a bit more loose but who cares and uh... pretty much put little hooks on the end of the thingies of there So I'll go ahead and do that, <coughs> and I might as well do it with this battery life, because I have a lot of battery life. So. This is the fiddly bit. Always the little parts are really fiddly. And that's why you need good super glue as well, because this needs to hold up the light. These little bits of this super glue basically needs to hold up the light. Sorry, guys, if you can't see it. Uh, basically, all I did was add little uh, hooks. 
that way and that way. Just glued them straight on top of those little things. So, yep. More super glue on, just line it with super glue. Because you really want you really want it to hold up everything to is that gonna work? Let's see. Okay, uh, I've done it too long, which means that it's not it's not fitting properly. Just need to cut it. Let's try that. There we go. Nice and tight. Just what we like. It's very hard to take it off. And uh, glue the inside of this tubey wooby thingy wingy. This tube thing. Uh, to the light. And that's absolutely. You don't have to glue it to the light, but I found that it always falls off. So. And that onto the thing. Voila! Done! And so, okay. <coughs> so, that's finished. This is your actual light, and everything else is paper. As you can see. And um, probably have a button there, or maybe like a little switch or something. You can just cut out a hole, drill a hole for like a switch you've got on the side of your light, or whatever. I don't know. There are screw ones where you screw it, and those are good <coughs> because, well, once it's on the gun, it's not. If you screw it, it's not going to you know fall off, twist off. So that's so good. So on this gun thing, and on this gun thing and something stopping it. If you've got the the um multiple uh, thingies I'll show you in a second. Uh, oh it's stuck. Okay. If you've got the multiple thingies it's hard to get them off. Um did you hear that? I banged something again. Uh it's hard to get on and off if you've got these things. Uh, this has been a little tutorial, I guess. There's nothing else for me to say. Um, I guess I'll just throw everything out now. Because, what else am I going to say? You've seen it. If you need a, if you have any more questions, just post it in the comments. Um, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And if you want any more tutorials, leave a comment because I'm happy to hear your thoughts and... Yeah, I want to help people with making guns. If that sounds normal. I want to help people make guns. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm going to do some uh, paper planes or something. From now on, I don't know. I'll finish my M4. But I'll give you a quick one. This is the um, receiver part. And it's got trigger. Magazine release works. It's got... Um, the charging handle and the front bit it's a bit short but you know it's cool so yeah and I've done I have a mag but I don't know where it like I know where it is it's just not here so yeah thanks for watching see you later